Ohio used the electric chair to perform executions until 1963. Nicknamed Old Sparky, it is now on display at the Cleveland Police Historical Society and Museum. It's part of an exhibit on capital punishment. News Channel 5's Tom Livingston shows us Old Sparky in an era when executions actually took place on Public Square. It's only the second time it's been on display outside of the penitentiary. 315 people, including three women, were put to death in this chair, nicknamed Old Sparky. So there is some wear and tear, but actually, if you look at it, it's in pretty good shape. The chair is the centerpiece of an exhibit at the Cleveland Police Museum on capital punishment. A picture shows a man about to meet his fate. The hood the condemned war is on display. Pictures of the first 10 to die in the chair, including the youngest at 17 years old. One of the strangest stories surrounding Ohio's electric chair involves an inmate, Charles Justice, who was involved in the construction of the chair. He eventually gained parole and was released, was rearrested and convicted of murder, and was executed in the chair that he built. Prior to electrocution, hanging was the method used. An 1876 hanging of murderer William Adden took place in Cleveland's public square. The sheriff used to sell tickets to the hangings. This picture frame has not only the newspaper articles and the photographs of the ladies that were killed, it also has an original ticket from that hanging. Today, Ohio uses lethal injection. Public tours of the electric chair ceased in the 1930s. When the state pen was demolished, the Ohio Historical Society put the chair in storage. In keeping with the serious nature of the display, the chair is kept behind a fence. We've had people ask, you know, can, oh, can we sit in there and have a picture taken? The answer is no. In Cleveland, Tom Livingston, News Channel 5. Tommy, thank you. And stories former WEWS reporter Alan DiPietro did of the electric chair in 1983 are part of that exhibit. It runs into November. The museum is open weekdays from 10 to 4. Admission is free. It is located on the police side of the Justice Center.